hello and good evening to me. I hope you're all doing very well. This is me, teacher Yasser. I am uh, your English teacher. Hello, my students in grade five. I hope you're enjoying your vacation and I hope everyone is uh, okay and well. Uh, may Allah keep everyone safe from the disease that is taking over the world, the corona. Stay safe and let's enjoy our lesson. Okay, uh, the last thing we had uh, was in the language book, if you well remember. We started unit one, which was the quest on the language book. And uh, we finished with unit one on the language book, okay? So today, we uh, will go to the practice book, page five. So I want everyone to open their practice books, page five, to do the grammar together. All right, is everyone ready? Okay, practice book page five. Follow me. One, grammar, complete the sentences with the verbs in the box. Be careful to use the correct forms of the verbs. Okay, I want everyone to repeat after me. Fish. I can't hear you. Fish, go, crash, be, blow, catch, fall, help, fall, and help. These are our verbs. We will need to put these verbs in the correct place in the box, okay? All right, uh, before we begin here, I'd like to refresh your memories a little with the grammar we had. Present simple and the present continuous. And you remember that, don't you? I hope you didn't forget that already. It's on your notebooks. So if you please open your notebooks, grade five. I want you to open your notebooks now. Uh, the rule of the present simple and the present continues. We did some exercises on it, we did some practices on it. I'm sure you remember what we have in the grammar, okay? Did you open your practice, uh, your notebooks? Present simple. You would find the rule of the present simple in the singular case, we use does, right? And in the plural, we use do. That means we have to add an S or an ES as you know, and as written on the notebooks right now, uh, S to the verbs or ES. We uh, normally, or usually, and we always add S to verbs ending with consonant letters, yeah? And we add the ES to verbs that end with vowel letters, right? Like go, goes, you know that. And in the plural, normally, the verb or the verbs come infinitive, so we do not add anything. We use do, and do is a representation of the infinitive verb. This is the present simple, okay? The present continues, however, in the singular, you remember that we use is, on, plus we use the verb, plus ing. Can we have an example? Yes. He is playing football, right? He is playing football. Can we have an example here in the present simple? Yes, singular, does. Yeah, he goes to school, for example. He goes to school and they go to school, plural. Here, he's playing football and in the plural, they are, for example, studying now. So, I hope your memories are now refreshed with the present simple and the present continuous rules. These are just um, some uh, notes and some tips 
because you need your memories to, re to be refreshed before we move to the exercise on page 5 in the practice book. And you have the rest of the rule on the notebooks. Okay, let's begin. Dane and Lek. Dane and Lek. The first one has been done for you as an example. Go fishing every day. Dane and Lek go fishing every day. Lek dash Dane to pull in the nets. Okay, we need a verb here. Lek dash Dane to pull the nets. That means there's something Lek does to, uh, to Dane to pull in the nets. What verbs should we choose from the verbs on top? Fish, should we say Lek? Fish, Dane? Doesn't make a sense, right? Lek go, Dane? Go is already used. Lek crash, Dane? Lek be, Dane? Lek blow, Dane? Lek catch, Dane? Lek fall, Dane? Doesn't all make sense, so we choose help. So we say Lek help, Dane. We said help. Did you notice that we used help? Okay. So it's going to be a present simple or is it going to be present continuous? Correct. It's going to be present simple because if it's present continuous, then we need a verb to be. Remember, is or on or are. And there isn't, is, there aren't, isn't, uh, on or are in the sentence. So we use present simple. And we say lek helps they, right? Lek. Helps they. We use the verb help. Moving on. They dash a good fisherman. They dash a good fisherman. So we want to define what is they. We go for be. Remember the verb to be, everyone? The verb to be, you remember it? The verb to be, we said it's either. Is, um, are, or where, along with been. I want you to repeat after me. Is, um, are, where, been. These are all examples of be. So whenever you find the verb to be, it means all these things. Isn't am um, and are in the present simple, right? We have where and we have was. Was and where are in the past, and being is in the past participle. Being is the past participle of be. Okay? So we have be here. Can you see be on the verbs? Yes. So we should put it on the place of day. Day dash a good fisherman. Are we going to say they be a good fisherman or are we going to choose one of these? Of course, we're going to choose one of these. Is it going to be being, they being a fisherman? No. Is it going to be where? Well, remember, we only have to use uh, the present verbs. I'm sorry, I didn't read the grammar. Grammar. One, complete the sentences with the verbs in the box. Be careful to use the correct forms of the verbs. Correct forms. Okay. Is it going to be is? Yes. It's going to be is. Dane is a good fisherman. We use be in the form of is because Dane is a singular in the present simple. Dane is a good fisherman. He always dash lots of fish. He always dash lots of, of fish. What do we do to fish? What do we do to fish? Yes, of course, we catch the fish, right? So we're gonna put catch. Then again, we have he. And remember, if we have a singular subject, pronoun or noun, we put s or es to the verb. Singular does, remember? So we have to use es, correct, with catch. So it becomes, he always catches a lot of fish. He 
we always catches a lot of fish. Remember? Catches. Okay. Alright. Uh, we use catch with fish and we put es because we have the pronoun he. Alright? Let's move on. Today, they and Lek are not fishing. They and Lek are not fishing. We put R and there is not and there is fish, so it's only and not fishing. What form of the verb is this? It's the present continuous, correct? Present continuous tense, are not fishing. Yes, a strong wind dash. So we have to use is again, will be, and we put blow. So it's going to be is blowing. So because normally the wind blows, right? We have the first section in the present uh, simple, catches lots of fish. And the second section on the ground box, is in the present continuous. A strong wind is blowing. Heavy rain, we say is, what, what does the, the, the rain normally do? It falls, right? Heavy rain is falling. Heavy rain is falling. And huge waves are dash on the shore. The only verb that we're left with is crash. So we will say, Huge waves are crashing. Huge waves are crashing on the shore. This is uh, the first part of the grammar. We did the grammar box together. And uh, this is the end of the first lesson. I really enjoyed it. And you should also enjoy it. And I'll see you on the coming videos in the next lesson. Bye-bye.